Hello, everybody. Hello, it's Friday. Friday, the 1st of July. And uh, I'm going to be drawing for DTNS today. Hello. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for being here. Um, starting a little bit earlier today, um, just because I want to get my holiday weekend on. That's why. Um, so today on DTNS, one of the things I'm looking at what one of the stories was going to be that they're talking about. And if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, it's this story here, which I'm going to put in the chat. Um, it is about a place called Motion Lib, which is partnering with India's Tata Consultancy Services. Excuse me. <laughs> and uh, what they're doing is they're developing a robot that can let you feel what it is touching. Pretty interesting stuff, right? Um, so that's what I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw this robot, what it's like for the robot that is touching things. So um, my idea is that um, they, <laughs> if you remember, there was a game that used to play around Halloween time where they would put different food stuff in front of you. And um, they would say, oh, now you're touching his brain. Or now you're touching his eyes. And it was basically just like grapes. And uh, spaghetti was the hair, I think. And I think it was like raw dough was the brain. It was, you know, you're supposed to do it. Um, uh, you're supposed to do it in the dark, right? Like touch stuff in the dark. So, so there you go. Um, so that's what I'm going to draw. If you guys remember that, maybe that's not too obs obscure. Hey, Kepper, how you doing? No, I'm not off today. I'm here today. I'm off for the next three weeks. <clears throat> so um, so today's the only day until the end of the month where I'm going to be drawing for DTS. So uh, not off today. Today is the first day. I'm back. I was off for like three weeks there. All right, and I'm back. Yes, hello Kepper, nice to see you. So let's draw that. I don't know if that's too <clears throat> um, obscure. Let me see. Um, so first thing I want to do is I want to get the... Um, is that right? That's totally wrong. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this. Gotta, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna draw this. Most important thing is the hands. part right coming up with the idea I don't know what the feelies are in A Brave New World. I wish I did. 
Um, this, by, by the way, is this too obscure? Do, do people know what I'm talking about? You, you'd go to like a friend's house on on Halloween, and um, you <laughs> you'd go and you'd you they they'd say these are the dead man's eyes. <laughs> I don't know. That's the first thing I thought of. Weird. We'll see what happens. We'll see how this goes. show this. <laughs> Good. I'm not the only person that remember that. some words on here so there's some context to what I'm doing that may help to play this game all the time like around Halloween time ridiculous I think this will work. And that's his hair. Let me put some other, I think I need a little bit more context on here. So let's do that.
Huh. Trying to figure out what I'm going to say here. Uh, I'm a terrible typist. Now you're seeing it. Four fifty six for using a robot that can touch things. <laughs> robot that can touch things for you. Just put a little bit of fun in there. All right. So there you go. That kind of, <laughs> that's sort of my idea. Maybe it'll change as we go along. So let me save this off. And this may be a good time to remind you all that if you are subscribing to my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Len, um, you can actually uh, get access to my Discord, which allows you to uh, give, which gives you access to the DTNS channel, the Patreon, the, the, the only, you know, the um, Patreon uh, DTNS uh, server, I guess, which only you can get if you are a Patreon subscriber. And you can see me um, uploading these images as I work on them. So let me, let, me, uh, let me write something on Patreon right now. If you're a Patreon subscriber, you can go right over there and take a look at it. Uh, th by the way, this is only one of two images I'll be doing for this month for DTNS. for keeping things lively Kepper appreciate it all right so that is posted you can see the pencil you can see the high-end pencil um, on the patreon I mean on the discord if you are a patreon subscriber it's probably more confusing than needs to be but that's okay all right, so I got that sorted down. I like that. All right, now let's get some ink. All right. <coughs> I like this um, 
kind of retro looking um, helmet <laughs> that apparently you have to wear to touch things because you know helmets are always a thing of the future you know what I mean I don't know I like this kind of retro feel Uh, I think I was telling you guys the other day, well, if anybody was here, um, I was watching um, a Twitch stream of uh, Jim Lee, the artist Jim Lee. He is, uh, I believe he's the president of, or chief creative director, I guess, of DC Comics. He's a pretty big deal at DC. He's drawn all kinds of different characters, uh, and he was drawing... Um, he was drawing Batwoman for the uh, f for his stream, and uh, it was just very interesting to watch him work because he gave himself um, just a uh, uh, a short amount of time to work on the piece, so it really sort of informed how he was going to approach it. I found that very interesting. So I do that a lot um, for uh, for my stuff as well. Like I don't, I don't, you know, it's like when is a piece done? Um, he was kind of asking that rhetorical question, like when is a, when is a piece done? How do you know when to stop working on it? And, um, it's funny, you know, for me, a piece is done when I kind of see, hey, awesome. Thank you, Kepper. Thank you for the um, sub for GoMac. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Um, for me, a piece is done when I just am like, yeah, I've hit all the main points. Um, and, uh, you know, there's, I mean, anything else that I would do would sort of be overkill. Um, I think it's best when I'm drawing, especially for DTNS, um, just to get the main point, the idea across, you know? Um, as long as I'm able to do that and people are able to kind of read it and kind of know what I'm trying to, to do, then then the piece is done. That's, that's my criteria. By the way, I wanted to say hello to uh, everybody who's in the chat room. We've got um, Alien Gathering, KT Data, Kepper, nice, both of you guys are here. GoMac54, who just got gifted a uh, sub uh, by uh, Kepper. And, uh, go with him and uh, LJ Hind. Thank you guys so much, all you, all you folks, for being here. I appreciate it. Spending part of your holiday weekend, your 4th of July holiday weekend, if you're in the United States, uh, with me. I appreciate that. So one of the things that I'm going to have to do is make sure that it's clear that his hands are not the ones that are touching it. These robot hands are touching everything. So I'll have to spend some time sort of developing that idea and make sure that that's clear in this drawing. It's funny because I have, um, I started a little bit earlier today. Um, I think that you say that those are his intestines instead of hair. Yeah, you know what, you're probably right. Uh, good, good call. This is why, this is why I have you guys here, because you guys think about these things. Um, and yes, happy Canada Day to all our Canadian friends. I don't know if we have any Canadian friends here.
Oh, wow, look at that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Kepper. It's awesome. So you've got, that's awesome. That's, thank you so much. All right, LJ Hind, the good? You happy with that? I think that's good. Those can be his brains down at the bottom there. Put some I'll put some details on the uh, on the gloves it's fun <sighs> yeah so the next couple weeks are gonna be pretty dang busy um, I'm traveling for work and then I'm teaching, which is why I will not be able to participate in uh, DTNS um, for the next few weeks. But you know what's fun is that I always get to come back. And then it feels like, oh, I'm coming home. That's nice. I'm always welcome back. All right. So those are the inks. Once again, let me remind you that if you are a Patreon subscriber, you can see the DTNS Discord. Um, that server, and um, you know, you can see these high-res images. Well, not high-res, but you know, the better views of these images um, uh, right on the server. Which you kind of see as I'm working on it. It's kind of fun. All right. So let's go. Let's um. Let's start throwing some color down. funny because I have um I usually have an idea I don't know if I'm in love with that let me just turn that off right now uh, I usually have an idea of, of what the colors are gonna be uh, when I start so I kind of have an idea of what I want the stuff to look like um, so if, you know if I can kind of match that in my head that starts to feel pretty good. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, that's exactly the way I, I kind of pictured it when I was envisioning it. Sometimes I want to um, break up, break up the uh, the colors a little bit, so I have more control over, and that's what I'm going to do here. Uh, I think the most important thing when you are working on a piece is to just know kind of where you're going like um, you know have like a um, 
have a road map essentially. It helps immensely. Part of the reason I think I wanted to do this early is because it's dang hot here in Cleveland. It's like 90 something. And uh, that translates to my office, which is on the second floor. And um, it's pretty, uh, pretty warm up here. So last night I watched um, a movie called RRR, <laughs> which um, was absolutely nuts. Um, it was crazy. It's on Netflix. It's about it's three hours. It's over three hours long, so it is an investment, but. It is one of the craziest films I'd ever seen uh, because it felt like three or four different kind of genres stitched together. Uh, there's a musical, there's a bromance, there's a romance, there's an action, there's superhero. Um, it's just absolutely bonkers. And um, I enjoyed it though, it was fun. So if you get a chance, watch it. It's called RRR on uh, Netflix. Like I said, it is an investment because you will invest about three hours of your time watching it, but you will enjoy it. Well, I, at least I did. I enjoyed it. I can't speak for you, but I enjoyed it. Dance numbers were fantastic. Okay. I think what's really fun about um, when I'm working on these pieces is just just getting the basic flats down and everything, um, and then uh, and then starting to pull it all together with highlights and everything. It just starts to really to make it come alive, um, and that happens very very quickly. Um, it's kind of neat to watch. I wonder, you know, I wonder how many people are going to understand what this is. <laughs> so I, I always think about the obscurity of my humor sometimes. Like, oh yeah, I think it makes sense, you know. take that out of there. I think what I'll do is I'll go with a 
more of an orangey kind of color. start putting some uh, some colors some highlights down on this guy so I'm gonna start merging some layers DTNS logo. You always remind me about that. I always forget. You know what? I'll, I'll figure it out. Thank you for reminding me, Kepper. All right. Let's get some. Now, this is where, this is the part I was talking about where I really enjoy. So, sort of getting the. Start getting the um, uh, the feel. Start adding volume, weight to uh, to the character. Seems like we got a nice little audience here today. Hello, nice to see you. Let me see, I'll take a break here in a sec. Let's see who's here. Uh, okay, Kepper, KD Data, Alien Gathering, uh, Danking Around, Go Mac 54, Mighty Mer, hey, what's up, Mer? Uh, LJ Hind, go with him. Thank you for being here. Thank you for, for watching me work my magic. So now, here's the important thing. Um, I'm going to keep building on this. And what I'm doing is um, I'm using clipping masks. Help me with the um, help me with the shadows and the highlights and things like that. And this is what I meant, like watching Jim Lee kind of work. He just, you know, he worked. He made it look so effortless, and you know, it's like part of me was like watching him, going, "Oh wait, what's he doing? What's he doing there?" It's funny because he knows what he's doing. Uh, you know, I don't necessarily need to know what he's doing. Um, but uh, so that was kind of fun, kind of watching you know, a master like him work. Uh, this is a really nice, I like this. All right, so now I'm going to put some shadows on the hands and some highlights, a lot more highlights. I'm going to do a lot more work on the hands.
Uh, the other thing is, um, I'm working. It's, I find it very hard, like, if I'm working on another computer, to work as fast as I do, you know? Um, just because I have everything set up the way I want to have it set up. So, like, if I go, for example, if I go to my school and um, I want it, I want to start working on a project, um, I find it very difficult to do that because the computer is not set up the way that I want it to have it set up. And so I'm like, a lot of it's like muscle memory for me, like just to kind of remember what's going on. Um... So I find that my art ends up being, at least in my eye, less, um, less, in, you know, less finished, I guess. It's not as good as I would want it to be. That makes them look a little bit more. Um, a little more high tech.
36, sir. <laughs> Gloves are much more robotic looking now. Yes, thank you. So I was missing some of these comments. Um, okay, let me add. Oh, you know what? Move this guy. That's good enough for that. Don't worry, I did not forget the DTNS logo, Kepper. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kepper. Seven minutes, not bad. very bright. This one is much brighter than I normally draw. Usually I draw a little bit darker. But maybe what I'll do is I'll add a little bit more um, to it. Oh, I know I forgot one thing. This is for you, Kepper. DTNS logo there, a little bit of DTNS action. Uh, okay, let me. Um, let me add a little bit more depth, and I think we might be close to being done. That doesn't look good. It's too high. Missing off some of that stuff. Good thing. But I know what I'm doing. Katina, nice.
nice to have you here. I think Caddy is new. Welcome. All right, I'm gonna add one last thing and I think we might be done. lines here and there I think that works yeah it's very bright interesting well, I'm okay with that uh, I think this is it guys what do you think oh you know you know what I forgot one thing Do you guys dig it or not? Does it make sense or not? <laughs> it's okay if it doesn't. Hey, thank you so much, Kepper. Thank you. All right, excellent. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. I appreciate it. Today's your this is your art. I will be premiering it at around in about uh, two hours. Two hours. So uh, make sure you head over to Good Day Internet. And once again, Patreon.com forward slash Len gives you access to the DTNS server on my Discord, where you can see all this great stuff. So uh, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you for being here. Uh, we'll see you again live doing this at the end of July, taking a couple weeks off uh, because of work. So uh, I look forward to seeing you guys all again, and I look forward to seeing you all on the next episode of Good Day Internet. Thank you, Kepper, for the gift subs, um, the bits, all that good stuff, and we'll see you again soon. All right, see you soon. Bye.